Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. Now I did actually do a test of this just before this for about 20 minutes and decided to scrap it purely because that test consisted of nothing but running around and talking to people. The, the game's flawless, it was full speed the entire time, with a few stutters here and there when it came to like, cutscenes or loading. But even then it only dropped to 56, so nothing too huge. So instead I saved the game after becoming a demon. And I'm hoping I can actually run into combat. It's just one of those things where I'm like, this has gone on for so long and nothing has happened. But we shall see. We might be fine. Oh wait, that's where I came from. My bad. Yeah, I want to leave this area. I keep forgetting I can't control the camera. But as you can see, the controls are fine. I like the, uh, the speed of the game is fine. And also, I was testing around with the... Um, oh, what was it? Combat? Ooh! Now, I was testing around with the internal resolution and seeing whether I could actually bump it up. And no matter what I chose, it didn't actually do anything, <laughs> strangely enough. Not entirely sure why. Like, unless the PCSX2 car has had that disabled, either that or this is just one of those games where it doesn't let you bump up the internal resolution, for reasons. Yeah, I got medicine. Hallelujah, we have combat. Against a will-o'-wisp. I want eat. Death touch. <gasps> no! Well, at least they only do one damage. Physical attack or I can pass. Skip action at half turn cost. Oh no, they got a crit. Accuracy and agility. What? Oh, they actually heal. Oh, that's great. I do like that I can kind of skip their turn and make it quicker. Beep, 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 beep. So yeah, the combat is also perfect, so this is another one of those games that seemingly is perfectly fine. Oh, nice. It just sucks that you can't bump up the internal resolution, because if you could, then you'd actually be able to have the game be on par with, um, like, the, the remaster that came out, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure the only thing they did was bump up the resolution. They didn't actually... Oh, Dr. Dark. Yeah, they didn't actually add any, like, cut content or anything. I don't believe. Could be wrong, though. I don't know if these fights are scripted. Oh. Oh, God. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> I missed. A Haunt Praetor. Still in dead. They do a lot of damage, actually. But I win. Nice. So yeah, it took... I mean, taking into account how long it's been, it's t it takes about 23 minutes to get to combat. I mean, I'm not holding it against the game. These games are kind of known for being very text-heavy. Yeah, so it's not really a, an issue, it's just for these kind of tests, it kind of sucks when you have to spend that much time just to be able to get to combat. But never mind. I didn't have to get into combat for the test to be considered, or for me to uh, say whether the game's playable or not. Oh, Kodama! I could have just, you know, said, yeah, it's playable, considering everything else was. But there are some games that play perfectly fine in some instances and then everything tanks when you get to a different point. God, these hurt. Level up. 
I'll go with vitality. Mm-hmm. I got lunge. 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 I don't like how fleshy that thing is. Mm hmm? My strength is outstanding. I wouldn't go that far. Oh. Oh. Well, there we go. So back up to the first floor, I guess. Ooh. The soul's everywhere. Hmm. Oh, uh, the main door doesn't let you out anymore. Right, okay. Cool. I think that'll do for the test, though. It's only been six minutes, so it's not been anywhere near as long as it had initially, but... I got to cover what I wanted, which was talking, running around, and combat. And all of it is basically perfect. Like, yeah, there's a few stutters here and there, or a few dips here and there, but they last... Mi like, they last for a moment, and then it's back to normal. So it's not constant. So I would have to say that Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.